This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 It is I, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. Today we're playing Simic Hydras. That's right. Finally, now that Veil of Summer is gone, I play green. I It seems like weird timing, yes. But... The idea of Hydras uh, really came from a, you know, so, uh, like one of the mods in my chat who pretty much taught, like, like recommended that I play something with Hydras. So, once again, just pays to hang out in my channel because then that way, you know, well, uh, I might make a deck, whatever deck you recommend into a video. So, yeah, we are trying to make Hydras work. Uh, this time around, of course, you know, we've got Gargos, which is a wonderful uh, Hydra and all that, but we've got a few cards that I didn't get, to, didn't really get to see that much play before. What are our three mana Planeswalkers now without, you know, Oka? We have Kiora, we have Vivian, Champion of the Wild, stuff like that. As you can see, our sideboard here, we've got Stone Coil Serpent, uh, times two, two Aether Gusts, two Disdainful Strokes, two Negates, three Brontodons, a Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, two Natures, uh, Return to Natures. And yeah, we're just kind of like a... We're actually, I believe it's Timmy, right? Where we're just all about jamming big creatures. We are just going to keep playing big Krasis. So, like, I mean, Krasis, big Hydras. We've got Gargos, Vicious Watcher. Uh, as you already know, Vigilance. Hydra, spells you cast, cost four less to cast. And then whenever a creature you control becomes target of spell, Gargos, Vic uh, Gargos, Vicious Watcher fights up to one target creature you don't control. So, that means, uh, yeah, if they try to target our stuff, with uh, removal or something like that, we get to go ahead and fight something of theirs. And of course, our Hydras will cost four less. So Hydra Crisis, we can spend two mana and X will be four. Or maybe Voracious Hydra, same thing. And uh, lastly, we have Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. This is a Planeswalker that I really liked upon reveal because I'm also just a fan of Vivian. Uh, but yeah, you may cast creature spells as though they had Flash, uh, which is her passive. And yes, that does get nullified by Teferi. Uh, plus one until your next turn. Up to one target creature gains Vigilance and Reach. Minus two, look at the top three cards of your library. Exile one face down and put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as it remains exiled, you may look at that card and you may cast it if it's a creature card. So, if we, I just want to do it once. We get to do a Flash Hydra on somebody. We do have Bio Essence Hydra, which can become massive with a bunch of Planeswalkers, which is why we run so many. So, without holding up any longer, let's see how the deck does in the lead. Alright, well, looks like we're keeping this. We have the turn one goose. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can get our Hydras going. Hydra party. All right, let's go and play Gilded Goose. And uh, let's see, what can we do after that? We can go and play the Goose, go into turn two. Uh, I don't want to do it. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I kind of want to play Paradise Druid here. Well, I still can, of course. And uh, I think here, hopefully they don't have like Cry the Carnarium or something like that. Come on, deck. Don't don't have it. Don't have it. Alright, cool. Now the question is, will what we cast resolve? That's the big concern here. Um I think I'm just gonna let them uh let me see. Maybe I can just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and fire this off now. See if they have anything to say about it. Alright. Cool. Now we can scry, I guess, so that's pretty good. And then if they don't have it that we'll make them use that makes them use a sweeper. On something like uh, just Paradise Druid and whatnot, right? I mean, I get to go ahead and hold back. Also, create another food token, which is pretty good. No attacks, pass back to the opponent. I don't, I don't want to have my uh, Paradise Druid accidentally die here. Some like removal spell or something like that. My question is, how do we get past Counter Magic and Sweepers? The good news here is that almost everything we play, if they bounce back with Teferi, doesn't feel terrible. Uh, sure, that resolves. I'll discard the land. Let's create a food token. All right, let's go ahead and play Vivian. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs. Uh, let's just go ahead and put two one one counters up on Paradise Druid. Yeah, let's put that on the. To survive. Pass back to the opponent, I guess. Uh, then after this we can go ahead, like, I, Vivian can take three here, I guess, unless they have Oath of Kaya, that'll feel kind of bad, but, like, for the most part, I think it should be fine. Thought Erasure, that's pretty good, they're probably gonna rip my Krasis, one of them, but, I mean, my, one of my Hydras will get taken, it's probably gotta be Krasis, because that reloads my hand. 
Uh, Voracious Hydra just gets blown up under one bell, uh, board wipe, so... Yep, Murderous Rider, you got it. I need to hone my skills. I mean, if they swing, that's good for us. Alright, let's make this a uh, four. Make that a green. Auto pay there. Have it fight that. We're low on uh, on cards right now, so if they sweep us, it's gonna feel bad. But it's all I can do, really. I don't. I, I'm gonna put them in a spot to use the sweeper. They probably have it though, right? They always have it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> they don't have it? Oh, hello. Come on, let this resolve. Let this resolve. Don't have a Dovin's Veto. Okay. Sure. Nice. That's the one two goose or one three goose now. Alright, let's get in there with some damage. Alright, so they're down to seven. What are they gonna do now? Enters the battlefield with a one more counter for each loyalty counter on planeswalkers you control. And everyone more on, on planeswalkers only. Man, where'd all my. Uh, you know, I had a planeswalker and then you killed it. I'm a little upset. I'd like him back. Oh boy. What is this? Command the Dreadhorde or something like that? Command the Dreadhorde. Oh, I feel it. Is it happening? Wait, it's not happening. Whoa. What's going on? Am I going to actually get to go swing in the air with the goose? The goose will truly be loose if I get to attack with this. Yes. Yes. Come on, opponent. What are you doing? Are, are you slow rolling the board wipe? <laughs> I think they they have to have something, right? They're just slow rolling it. Although, I won't lie to you, if, if we can steal game one, that's pretty huge. Because games two and three gets a lot more difficult. Alright, let's do this. That's three, so that makes it eight, so I could do this for six. Nice. And I got to draw a card out of that, so that felt good. And now we just go ahead and attack. Get in there, Goose. Get in there. Do your Goosey job. Do Goose things. Yeah, you see, they would have gone up to nine, but you see, the Gilded Goose kept him in check. Sure. I mean, Great Henge might have helped with this along with Hydrocrasis, but I really, it was the Goose. All right. This seems like a good card against them because they're going to try to destroy this like maybe with like destroy my uh cards with i don't know tyrant scorn things like that i don't want to deal with that i guess i bring in some counter magic right this die doesn't die to tyrant scorn though that's that's good voracious hydra no i can't keep that in i want more counter magic um i guess i don't need the disdainful stroke we can go like a negate right like negates are good enough probably yeah i think that's good enough let's let's go with negates here I don't know how much more I need than that. Like, a few negates are good. Uh, I, I'll, Disdainful Stroke does hit Kaya's Wrath. Um, what else would they be playing? It does hit the the Bell Haunts. All right, deck. I'm going to keep this. Hopefully, I'm rewarded with a blue source that I don't have to use off Gilded Goose. Like, if I can get a Breeding Pool, that'd be pretty rad. Po what, opponent doesn't have to worry about Veil of Summer. Wow. Must be nice. Must be nice. Right, I'm going to pass to the opponent here. We have Stone Coil Serpent. Thought Erasure. Okay, that seems pretty good. Like, they see the negate, so they know we're going to hold that up for quite some time. All right, perfect. They took a negate. Not bad. I guess I just pass, right? I mean, I would like to not have to use my goose for this but i think it's uh hit that point where i have to now just gonna have to do it need to hit that land drop come on deck although castle garen brig in a few turns that'll be pretty big i get a nice huge uh stone coil serpent 
Let's go ahead and fire this off now. Perfect. Uh, I do want to actually... That does pressure a Teferi, right? Like, like actually does. Whoa, they're bouncing my goose back. That's wild. All right, pass back to them. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they don't have a sweeper. Because if they do, they're going to do it on my turn, which sucks. But I just need it. If I can get that Teferi off the board, that'd be pretty clutch. Looks like they do. Looks like they do. I've got it. <laughs> Nullified by Teferi. Uh, let's do this now. All right, let's go do this now. Make him use it. I mean, they got to use something at least. That's the good news. We are stuck on lands a little, but whatever. All right, now I just pass. I was curious to see if they'd want to use a board wipe. Because it's kind of like not really that big a deal, right? Like, I don't get a... I need a... They're probably going to rip my Tamio, I think. Or Nissa. It's one of those two. It's not Vivian. All right, Nissa, that's pretty good. Yes, I could have played Nissa. I know. I could have played Nissa. But I don't... I think it, it just would have gotten countered. Like, they're representing counter magic. Like, a, a load of it. Let's, uh... Let's see here. So we play this. We float. That doesn't do enough. I'm trying to think how I go about this here. Let's play Vivian. I think they have counter magic. They won't... If they if they have it, I don't know if they'll use it on Vivian. Seeing as that they could see Tamio, All that other stuff. I mean, you can't let me have it. If you have a Teferi, you're fine, but otherwise, you can't let me have it. Alright, we're, here we're going to look at three lands, aren't we? We're looking at three lands. Pretty sure of it. We're looking at three lands. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> There's no Veil of Summer. Yep. Those lands I needed, though. May as well get in there for two. Pass back. Bell haunt. All right, so we really do need to just stick this Tamio here. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. I'm gonna get back Nissa. Just block with the goose. Talking. This darn bell haunt. Well, at least currently the next batch of bell haunts won't do anything, so that's nice. Uh, I will block with the goose here. Keep my, uh, Tamio alive. I don't know. Uh, Hydroid Crisis, I guess? Nope, nope. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, we're just gonna put a, a Stone Coil Serpent out for four. It doesn't die to, uh, multicolored stuff, which is nice. So Teferi can't bounce it, things like that. Noxious Grasp doesn't hit it. And it's kind of like a Hydra. Nice. Hydroid Krasis, again. To the library. There we go. Dude, I do want some of those cards back, though. The ones that I've just thrown away. I do want some of those back. I'm gonna keep this card hidden in exile. Keep them, uh, keep them guessing, you know? What could it be? Whatever could it be? Alright, we're gonna pass back, and then next turn we can pull back Great Henge. Right now they need a sweeper, but we have the negate. Alright, so we counter their Teferi. Got that nonsense out of here. Let's take a look here. We could just grab Negate again. Now that we have, uh, yeah, let's let's return those two back to my hand. The the and now, from the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is beautiful. Cool. Tear you and then now we pass back to them. This doesn't have vigilance, or else I'd attack with it right now. But need just a little bit more time with it. We have the negate in our hand again. So anything that pulls them out of the situation, we can pretty much deal with. Alright, let's see if we can find the Great Henge or something like that. 
I want, I want my Gargos, actually. No, it should always just be Hydroid Crisis. Hydroid Crisis is a good magic card. Aw, oh, darn. Ah, oh, I should have called Great Henge. Alright, so what do I do now? <laughs> Stomping time. Wait, why can't I cast it for six? There we go. Cool. Now we just attack. Stone Coil Serpent uh, it is good to swing. We have all that we need in defenses. We can protect our Planeswalkers quite well. They can't actually kill this uh, Stone Coil Serpent with Tyrant Scorn or anything like that. Sure, Noxious Grasp is fine. It's not a board wipe. You can Noxious Grasp it up. Your Thought Erasures don't do anything against me. So that feels pretty good. Yeah, like... Yeah, that's getting countered. That's definitely getting countered. Okay. Seek and find. Nice. Got another one. Together, we will prevail. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Just go ahead and attack in with both of these. I don't think I really need to up anything here. I'm just going to pass. Just going to pass. So if they use Kaya's Wrath, it cleans off their Bell Haunt, sure. It kills off my Stone Coil Serpents, but it doesn't kill my Planeswalkers. And I'll still have a body to swing in with. Alright, Ritual of Sit. Alright, you got it. Ritual of Sit's pretty good, but if they attack, they're in a lot of trouble. They can kill my Tamiyo, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty clutch. Ritual of Soot was so good there. Aw, oh, jeez. Alright, so that's 6 plus 4, so we could do it for 8. Nice. Alright, and we got there. Okay, let's battle. What you got for me, opponent? Ugh. I, oh, I want to keep this hand so bad. We have the Goose, we go to Paradise Druid, and then we do the Kiora line after, maybe. If we draw a land, oh, look at that curve. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, counting with Count Krim. Oh, but I got to ship it. It feels so bad. I don't want to ship it. Oh, all right. I guess I'll be a reasonable person. Alright, so we have the goose. Oh boy. Please don't kill my stuff. Oh, they've got red mana. And they've got the guilt the fight for my gilded goose. That feels bad. Well, good thing I didn't keep uh that first hand, huh? Quite proud of myself for not keeping that first hand. All right, what do, what do I even do here though? Like I, I don't have anything actually. Now that they've fought that other goose, they might even strike this down or shock it down with stomp. Okay, that's not good for me. It's casually like one million damage, no blocks. All right. Double the number of counters, pass back to the opponent. I don't know, this is like best I got, right? Like, I need to get my Nissa on board for anything to happen. I luckily do have that extra food token from the first goose coming down. If they swing in, that represents that they've got some spicy meatballs to hit me with, though. Like, I need to watch for Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave kills me. Ember Cleave thoroughly dunks me. Come on, deck. Give me a land. I'm blocking like this because Pelt Collector can grow and get trample. I don't want to deal with that. Do I need this to gain life? Because, like, I need it to gain me life. But I can, I can chance it, right? At this point, I got to chance it.
I mean, that's a free attack, so I may as well attack with the land. So if they have another haste or anything, we're dead. Oh! I mean, we were dead either way. We were dead either way. There's no getting around that. GG's. Like, yeah, even if I had gained one life, it wouldn't have done enough. Uh, okay. That's not ideal. That's not the way this match is supposed to go. Our hydras are supposed to be better. They're bigger and, and scarier, right? Might want these dinos. Um, how do we get out of this spot against my opponent here? These growth spirals are pretty decent. All right, let's go for it. We have a few dinos just to have a big body. And in the event that they get, they play their Ember Cleave, we can go ahead and blow it up with Bronte. Mulligan. Oh boy. Yeah, sure, I'll keep this. We have all the mana we need. We can get, if we can just survive to turn four, we can get a 2 2 Hydroid Crisis. Ugh. This matchup is terrifying. Luckily, though, we do have, once again, Thrashing Bronte on. Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, Paradise Druid. Perfect. All right, so they also have a Paradise Druid of their own. Very nice. I lo it looks like now I'm gonna hold on to uh, my my Crisis because I have the ability to play Nissa next turn. I like the way that sounds in my honest opinion there. Might play Questing Beast or something like that right now. Come on. I think, okay, what could they have that would, like Collision Colossus would be heartbreaking and backbreaking simultaneously. Here's what, like, what, what were they holding on to? Are they like playing shocks or something like that? Is that what's going on? And they've got it. Yeah, okay. They have Bone Crusher Giant. Seems good. Seems good. Well, luckily for us, this is just a free attack now, right? Sure, hit him for six. Let him know what's up. Pass back. So currently, this is okay. And then if we get to untap, that's two, four. Plus four, six, so that, that means it adds for two more mana. Ooh. Crawl Harpooner, sure you got it. Domri's Ambush, rude. That's pretty rude, okay. You got it. That significantly slows us down. All right, so how much mana is that? There we go, we have six, eight, nine, so we can do this for seven. Nice. And now we have a flyer that can kind of get in there, do some damage for us. Let's just hang back for a second here. There's a chance that we could be getting, I don't know. If it's Ember Cleave, whatever, right? Okay, sure. Thrashing Brontodon. Wow. Look at that. Well, it was the right call to bring in Thrashing Brontodon, huh? Let's go ahead and just play Gargos. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude! We did that in the wrong order, too. I love it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, we did it in the wrong order. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, baby. I was so excited as soon as I drew Gargos. I was like, oh, Gargos. Now that chat and YouTubes. That's how you know. An impulse caster? Is that a thing? Can that exist? An impulse cast? <laughs> oh man. What a meme. Why did they bring those in by the way? Those don't feel that good against us. One growth spiral. Is that really going to make a difference? Probably not. Just play a Tamio. Tamio gives us the opportunity to get cards back. I like the sound of it. Oh boy. Thrashy B. I'm going to play it. I don't have ramp though, that's a concern, but I do have a relatively decent body here. I don't want to mulligan get no lands. Like, I'd love to mulligan and find some geese, but I feel like that's what hopefully the scry land will get us to. Gargos is like the opposite of a mana dork. Um, it's what the mana dorks are paying tribute to. I mean, but Hydra spells cost me four less. Oh, that's so sick. Lame. Lame. What is that? Why? Why do you have planeswalkers? Stop. Only I'm supposed to have planeswalkers. 
All right, so Brontodon's on board. They may have it fight. Like, they could play something. What can they play that has four toughness right now? They can easily go and play, like, uh, Spellbreaker. Questing Beast. Yeah, sure. It's quite the magical card you've played there, my friend. We'll take the five by choice, of course. How do I beat that? Why does that feel so bad? All right, so it's getting shocked. You got it. Yup, you got it. Horde wiped me out of this game, dude. Brutal. Yeah, that Domri Anarchabolus is really good in this matchup because I have very few ways to actually interact with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead either way because then they just minus Domri again. I guess I go up. Aha! Check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, never mind. We're dead. We're super dead. Actually, you know what? I want to see it. Clo close it out. Close it out, opponent. Do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. GG's. I'll take the play. All right, let's hope we don't get stomped out again like last game. Ugh. That girl matchup was brutal. All right. Drew, there's a forest on top. That feels good. Let's play Paradise Druid. Pass to the opponent. So they're on some kind of blue-red shenanigans. Yeah, definitely not going to just attack randomly. I'll tell you that. Alright, cool. Oh, boy. Let's see if we got something going here. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to let that go. It's fine. We'll take two damage. If I get quenched here, which is likely, that's not going to feel great. Huh. Let me get a two. Yep, they quenched it. You got it. They use their red, so I'm going to go ahead and play the goose here. Or try to play the goose. Yep, you got it. The goal here is to try to see if I can get more mana up. Like, I wish I had one more land for that Hydra. We're just going to have to take the damage here, unfortunately. Ah, uh, how do I get out of this spot? That's going to grow massive. That Brineborn Cutthroat will just be absolutely huge. There's not much I can really do or say about that card. I need to draw. Okay, so now that we've got more lands... They must have a giant or something like that. A Bone Crusher Giant would be really good. Yep, that's hard to beat. Yeah, Brazen Borrower is pretty good here. Can bounce almost everything we do. How do I beat them? I I, I need Vivian. Vivian gives me reach. Uh, I need to get my other Hydra to fight. Maybe I should have blocked in the beginning. That gives me six so I could make it so that I... It gets countered, but I still get my life. So that means I could do it for five. X is five. This gets countered for sure. Yeah, Mystical Dispute. Do they have like another body to play? Sure. That's 10, 10 on board for them. How do I ever beat this Hydra now? Like, I would need Gargos to resolve. But that just doesn't seem likely. Okay, you got it. Do it for five again. Sure, you got it, buddy. GG's. Very good, very good. All right, so we're a little too slow and clunky for our opponent, but let's see if we can just play enough bodies to make it worthwhile. We want the negates, that's for sure. Bio Essence Hydra doesn't seem like it ever resolves. Um, like, if it does, I like they just bounce it, right? Like, it's not that problematic for them to deal with. They don't have that many, but, like, this can come down early, which is nice. All right, let's try this. Let's see if we can actually uh, give them a game here. 
Yeah, maybe we need to put uh, the Shifting Ceratops back into our decks. Like, Shifting Ceratops would make it so that this matchup isn't as miserable. Uh, we get to resolve it, and the only way they can deal with it is... Like, they have to, like, stack up a bunch of burn spells. Sure, that's an opt. I wonder if they they kept in dispute. If they keep in dispute, that does counter my Cura at quite the efficient rate, and then all of that too. Yeah, that'd be pretty brutal. I'm just gonna windmill slam stuff at this point. No reason not to, right? Sure. We gotta get them to start using their counters. They, we know they have ionized. We know about all their their tricks. You got me, buddy. All right. So, what do I do? I just go for a Voracious Hydra. Now we just double this uh, the counters on this. Alright, pass back to the opponent. We have a 4-5. Legitimately, we just play a 4-5. That's, that's how I'm going to try to beat him. Uh, we're going to go for the post-combat Nissa too. Which seems weird because then we lose out on the 3-3. But I really don't want to get... Countered like a bajillion times. I mean, they must have Brazen Borrower or something like that. Maybe that's why they're they're tanking here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just start swinging. Let's swing first. All right, let's go ahead and try for Vivian. Let's see here. Cast spells though. I have Flash. Sure, you can counter that. You got it. That cuts them off of playing anything for this turn. Like that. Yeah, that cuts them off of playing anything at the end of our turn. So that feels pretty good. Okay, so they've played that. Brazen Borrower, they bounce something, you got it. At this point, we just make them have it, right? Again? Like, I, I'm not gonna do much. I'm I'm just gonna make it so that it's a, what? Let's see, I can do this, that's four, plus six mana. Wait, hold on, does this work? Hold on, what, how does this mana? Abilities of creatures. I only need to make it two. So I can play around Quench. That's all I care for. To make it two. Then I'm just going to double its attack counters again. Alright. Pass the opponent. Yep. It looks like we're off to the races here. We go right to combat. Another Brazen Borrower, huh? Alright, let's see if they have it. Sure they do. Darn it. Um, that sucks. Alright, so now what can I do? They have six in the air. We're gonna have to somehow try to resolve a Voracious Hydra. Gonna need something pretty big here to come through for us. And whatever we do, we need to make sure that we leave up mana to pay for Quench. Uh, Quench is the one thing I don't want to get blown out by. So, this upcoming turn, we can go ahead and do the... Oh, nice. This is gonna be sweet. Okay, cool. So that's plus three, so I could do this for how much now? So that's six, four, six, seven. I have to fight Gadwick. Because Gadwick taps down my Hydra. Alright, so... We don't even have lethal, so even if it were, like, Nissa off the top, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Alright, how do I get past him right now? I need him to not have, like, Disdainful Stroke. Quench is fine. Double the counters on it, and then pass back to them. So now we are looking pretty dunzo, though. Like, I gotta get on board. Okay, they shock me, and they, they kill me with another burn spell. GG's. We have two games to two new games to play. We had to start a new league, because as you know on Arena, once you get two losses, you gotta move to the next one. 
Uh, let's go ahead and just... Okay, I'll keep that on top. Play the Scryland. I'll go Paradise Druid on two. We'll do the Goose move later. That's concerning. How many cats are there? I wonder might be on Cat Tribal. Oh, boy. So we have Paradise Druid. What do we get? What are they playing? They're playing Lifelink, right? All right. So hopefully we can just deal enough damage with gigantic hydras. I won't block. I promise you that. You don't even have to look over. I won't block with Paradise Druid. <laughs> no blocks. Oh crud. Oh crud. All right, let's go and play this. Let's shock for it. Let's see if we hit a card here. Nice. We did not hit it. Unfortunately, we did not hit it. So. Hopefully we just draw a land naturally next turn, because we are in need of it. I thought about playing Kiora, but Kiora feels like it's just going to die, because I'm not going to block anyways, right? And I need to get to the point where I can just play my Krasis or something. A big enough body. No blocks. So I can currently make... Ooh. That's nice. Okay. Let me think here. I need to play Voracious Hydra. I need to fight something, but I could also just tap this for a token. No, that doesn't do enough, actually. Let's play Let's play Nyssa. This at least allows me to untap block with Gilded Goose and then make a food token. I don't know. Do you think they play... If they play Gideon's Triumph or something like that, that's going to feel bad. Let's hope they just don't have any removal. All right, cool. There's also the fact that we may not even actually have to. I mean, I could have just like sacked the food token that we have now. Chant creature without flying, can attack or block or activate its abilities. Okay, you got it. I mean, they got to swing into Nissa, right? Sure. No blocks. Let's see if I regret that. I do not. Right, let's make a food token. Alright, this is going to be sweet. Behold, nature's true power. I want to play Gargos really, 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 really bad. Four. Eight. Sack the food token. I just want to draw a ton of cards so I can do it for nine. Alright, so now we have a 9-9. That feels pretty good. Of course, if they just remove this, I'm in trouble. Yep. Alright. That's... <laughs> extremely unfortunate. <laughs> Darn it. Guess we lost our Nyssa. How unfortunate. Just wanted to draw a bunch of cards. Alright. So they have one too many of those enchantments. Let's go to combat. Send in these. We're gonna just go ahead and play Gargos now. We make this four. X is four. Yeah, let's have it just fight Angel Vitality just so they don't do anything wonky here. Alright, so we have a big board right now. This board is massive. Sure, let's have it fight that. Alright. So they've got Giant Killer on top of it, huh? Alright. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and play this. Are much more reliable than humans. Oops. I accidentally attacked with the goose. Whatever. Here's how I will balance it out. Tear it down. Tear it all down. I'll grab that and I'll play Kiora. Kiora will untap my big creatures. Then we'll block. All right, cool. I'm going to bring in Brontodons because it seems like they are going to enchant me into the ground. They seem to have a lot of ways to, to enchant my stuff. And that is not what I'm in the business for currently. All right, what else can I fit? Maybe Vivian isn't bad. Vivian is playable here. Um... Uh, yeah, let's just play Vivian, uh, another Vivian. Then we can instant speed our Hydras. 
that pretty that guarantees like some games where we can just like maybe get in with a hydra before they can pacify it or something like that. All right, healer's hawk. Tony Hawk is here. All right, you got it. Next turn, we're gonna go ahead and go play Paradise Druid, I guess. Oh, nuts. <laughs> that, that's pretty good for the opponent. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> sure. I guess if that's what we're doing, I guess. Let's just, you know what? Let's just, we won't get a food token off this. I know. We don't get a food token off of it, but we do have another bird that can activate. And next turn, that means we can start making two foods. And that's got to be something, right? Nice. Block one of these. Hushbringer is pretty decent here. You know what? Let's play that tapped. I don't need any more of those. It still enters the battlefield. X-1-1 counters on it. I just can't have it fight or do anything else, but that's fine. Let's start generating some food tokens here. That is the squad. That is the whole bird squad right there. Live and in, in action right now. <clears throat> Create a food token, pass. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let me see here. Alright, pass back. And now at least we know that we can kind of keep them in check with their life gain, right? Again, with this, activated abilities... Wait, hold on. It doesn't have any activated abilities. I guess it does. It has its land stuff. I can't use its land abilities. That's lame. It's like a straight up stone rain. Except I can't do anything. Ah, why can't I do anything? No! I mean, I know why I can't do anything, but I just don't want to believe it. Sure, I'll keep that. Hold on to Andrew's Balville. Yep, whenever. Yep, yep. Okay. Alright. It doesn't do anything. Or and with a one or each. Okay, cool. It did do something. Wild. Rise, my elemental friend. Oh, I didn't mean to attack with that. Whatever. <clears throat> Lordy. Yeah, we lost Nissa because of that line, by the way. That's a feel bad. That's a feel bad. I button mashed my way through that turn. I need to slow down. I need to slow down. I'm playing too fast. Get rid of that thing. That thing is a little upsetting. Leave that back so I can still make food tokens. Man, I wouldn't have lost my Nissa too. Oh boy. Why do you ever get past all this stuff? Yeah, you got a lot of life there. Make a food token. Maybe they'll trade off their Linden. Nope, they won't. Okay. Two, three, six. So we just make it six. Yep, I know. I can't find anything. <clears throat> That's a problem. Oh, so many life gain triggers. This would be way different if I didn't just lose the game by play, uh, accidentally swinging. Oh, come on. Not another goose. I don't even think I can do anything anymore. They have no reason to block. They're at 42. They're at a very healthy life total. I guess I could just, like, make a ton of food token. And that's about it, right? Like, just become a food factory? And then just gain a ton of health. Oh boy. All these enchantments, quite brutal. So at this point, how am I beating them? 
How am I beating them? Can I beat them? I don't think I can. I can try. Uh, let's see. Create a food token. Sure. Okay, that's pretty good. I can finally block. Kinda. Let me think about this here. Am I gonna get caught out for this? What do I have here? They just tap it down, right? A little annoying. So, do this. So that's five, seven, nine. We can do for seven. Hold on, hold on. What is that? Undo. Just do for six. Not exactly what I wanted, but I do have the ability now to crack a food token, I guess. I don't know if that helps us live or not, though. Sure. Like, I now have to block Angel of Vitality with one of my goose. Almost everything swings in here, right? Yeah, you're gonna gain a lot of life, trust me. No one's stopping that. Can I get away with just blocking like that? Let's see how much damage gets through. Three, six. Sure. Sure. Oh boy. Did not want to land. Um. Okay, let's try to somehow slow them down, but they have so much life gain that I don't think I can. Nature flows with vigor. So we're not entirely dead if we draw something good here. We, we need something pretty massive to swing this one in our favor, but let's see here. 23 minutes. Oh boy. Maybe I just could see because like I don't, I don't know if I can ever deal enough damage. As long as they have this Linden, we have no ways to actually ever... Oh, Lord. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. I guess like, we could chump block that for some time being, but like, how do we ever beat this? Gargos can't even fight that anymore, actually. Yep. 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 Which is that three? That's seven. Seven. Gain six of it back. Gain three. Gain three. Gain three more on top of that. Uh boy. We're most likely dead if we don't draw something good. Is that even good enough? It might be. Is this something that can actually have reach? Wild animals I like. People? Not so much. <laughs> Wait. You think nature is kind? Alright. Let's do that. One drop ripples at I get out of this. They have so many things that can Sure, they tap that down. You got it. Maybe they just don't know, and then they don't pay attention, and then we can just, like, block their Linden, I guess? Blocking their Linden seems pretty important right now. Their Hushbringer is obviously important. I'm gonna let them deal with all those triggers. You got it, bud. Go wild. Your health total's at, like, one million. Let me see. I guess that's all I can do, right? 
Blocks like that. Let's make some food happen. Alright, there we go. Again. Here we go. So how do I ever beat these? I have to keep chump blocking these for the rest of their days. It's the only way I can beat that. That's a good one. That's how I do it, actually. I just emblem. That's one way to go about it. Yeah. We just emblem. For the fallen. Ah, oh, boy. This is going to be a pickle. To make a splash. Nope. That's good enough. So they need to get trample. That's how they win here. Yeah, sure. You've got more life link, buddy. I absolutely cannot beat. <laughs> sure. Absolutely cannot. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a good one. Let's go sacrificing some food. Cool. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Sure. You got it. Um, let's see, what else can we do? All things begin and end in nature. All right. Next turn, we can go ahead and give this flying target creature gains vigilance and reach. All right, cool. No attacks. We just got to sit back again. So now Johnny's pride mate, the 1313, can get blocked. But, uh... Hushbringer, oddly, is shutting off a lot of their things, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. Let's go ahead and start making food tokens. Uh, let's be mana efficient. Let's go ahead and tap this for a mana source. Sure. Finally. Yes. I know. I don't get to draw anything. You ever lost a home? Cool. Harness the element. All right, so this upcoming turn, we can do a lot now, right? So if they try to tap down my giant killer with giant killer, my Gargos, I can just send the blocks elsewhere, right? Now I have indestructible lands soon. The land will help us find a way. And then now we'd go deck thinning. Submit seven, enters tapped, enters tapped. They don't have any enchantments or anything that I need to worry about. I don't even know if I... I'm at a health total now where I can just actually... I don't even know why I play that now. My bad. Why do I play that now? Strike now. Strike hard. Let's see if they even have anything for this. Right? Like, I mean... We're doing alright. So now we can permanently chump block... We can permanently chump block the 23-23 because uh, our lands are indestructible. And now we still won! Heck yeah! Alright, uh, I'll scry. So hopefully, this is a alright hand, I guess. Doesn't have everything I need. That last game was a grind fest. I feel like I could have died a long time ago. I think they, it, last game if our opponent had attacked with everything. 
uh, numerous times, I think our Planeswalkers would have been dead too. Or at least not dead, but not ulting. Perfect. I found a untapped, a nap, untapped to uh, second land. So this way I can play Paradise Druid into what is hopefully either A, a Vivian. No, I'm actually... Okay, now that I, I see it, if this is Temple of Epiphany, might want to go and play Kiora so I can immediately untap Paradise Druid. Ooh. Mystical Dispute. All right. Now that's one heck of a card to see in the main deck of a, a teamer deck. They might just be teamer reclamation, as in I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, dude, if I get quenched, this is going to feel bad because I could have paid for it. Oh, nice. Would you like to see what's left of Scar? So now this gets Vigilance and Reach, like so I can just keep attacking. Rat. See if I can find something to do this turn. Voracious Hydra. Is that even good here? Eh, sure, why not? It's the first threat I've seen in a minute. Are they digging for lands? Is that what's going on here? Their hand must be, like, loaded with counter magic or something like that. Good news, though, is now I can go ahead and do all my stuff at the end of their turn. Starting over is the only way. All right, pass it back. <laughs> We're pretty much playing Boggles. Look. Put it on top. Seems good. So now we have a Voracious Hydra. A massive Voracious Hydra, that is. Let's see what's on top. On tippity top here. Oh yeah, I'm keeping that on top. Okay. I mean, you're welcome to uh, counter this if you'd like. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. You can still walk away. Look at that sick boggle action right there. Ah, eh, sure. Put it on. Take it on top. Put it on top. All right, wilderness reclamation for the opponent. You got it. Mysteries of life are endless. They're down to eight. They can't target any one of these, so that feels good. I need them to like tap down their mana, so I'm gonna do this at the end of their turn. Let me see here, so that's three mana. Okay, I can pay for quench. What do you think if I do it for two, I can pay for mystical dispute? Yeah, let's do that. Double the counters. Sure, so they tapped out. That's fine with me. They just tapped out. Cool. So now I can go ahead and resolve my Nyssa. Uh, tap that wrong, but whatever. Oh, uh, boy. Let's see. What can I do? The land fights for us. I mean, what are they gonna do? They're gonna burn my. You know what? Let's go grab something. Let me show you what was lost. Doesn't matter. I can't use it anyways. It's not a creature. It has to be a creature. So what do they have now? Are are we dead? Sure. Opponent draws more cards. Come on, deck. Come on. Give me something good. At least we got the three land pocket out of the way. Uh, I could go ahead and try to, I mean, like, we are at a dangerously low health total. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Oh, I want to play that so bad. Okay, fine. I'll take that. We're going to make him use their, uh, their fancy manas. Their fancy spells. We're gonna make him go flame sweep, flame sweep. Yep, they gotta go flame sweep, flame sweep, and or go flame sweep plus um, expansion. Flame sweep one. Sure. Cool. Got it. Yes. Cool. Force them into having it rewarded and having the ability to go and flash in stuff at instant speed. 
pretty important here. Um, might want negate. Might want disdainful stroke. Return to nature. I mean, return to nature is probably not better than uh my brontodon. So Kiro doesn't feel that relevant in this matchup. Bio essence hydra. I guess bio essence hydra doesn't like die to a lot of things. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try it. I think this is this is oddly that was super sweet. We were able to control them at like pretty much play at their pace, right? Having Vivian made it so that no matter what we did, as long as we upticked enough to where it was just out of burn range. Oh, that, that was sick. I love Vivian. I love Vivian. She's such a sweet card. And she's a three mana planeswalker. I wonder if now that's, is it time? Is it that time yet? Oh, this is a really bad hand. Well, yeah, no, you know how it goes. All right, we have to go ahead and push all these to the bottom. Hopefully we draw an untapped green source. We did not. Uh, breeding pool, that's pretty good. Because that means that our Castle Garen break can come into play untapped. Oh boy. Need a little bit of help from our deck, but sure. They don't have a shock at least, that's good. Maybe, maybe they don't have uh, a Wilderness Reclamation? Come on. Don't have a Wilderness Reclamation. Don't have a Wilderness Reclamation. Nice. There's like a strong chance they flame sweep us. So I'm gonna just try to play this. Opt, you got it. Come on. Come on, yeah, we got the dino. All right, cool. Now all we need to make sure of is that when they try to, you know, like, Oh boy, they're really ramping ahead though. They're on land six now. They could play Niv Mizzet pretty much. Well, when I say pretty much, I guess they actually did. Brutal. So what do I have now? I gotta go Voracious Hydra? Yeah, I gotta go Voracious Hydra. Oh, nuts. This will be a problem. They're just going to ping down my goose. So goose can't block. Or they could do a crazy board clear here, I guess. Like, them untapping with niv Mizzet is a huge pain in my side right now. And the odds of them, like, not having another spell to cast is ridiculous. Ugh. Do I even want anything there back? No, I don't. Can't do anything here. This is a little brutal. Oh, that's not good right now. That's really not good right now. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just uh, start attacking. <clears throat> Luckily, I do have a Disdainful Stroke. I can counter an Expansion Explosion. However, I am getting hit for a lot of damage. And I don't think I can win this race. So this is, what, 9 mana, 5 off, makes it 4 mana. I mean, I'm gonna try. Oh, boy. Say it ain't so. Don't counter it. Ah. Yeah, GG's, they got it. This one's over. They countered it, that was too brutal. Too brutal. I guess we might need Niv the, the Aether Gus to deal with Niv Mizzets. Niv's Cheez-Its. Great Hench just doesn't feel like it's gonna resolve often. Unless it's for like two mana, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, we can't, we can't beat that. That was too brutal. That was way too brutal. They got the niv Mizzet super early. Uh, we couldn't contest it in any way. Uh, we needed, a, like, I guess a Voracious Hydra would have helped, and we took out one. Maybe I should have brought back in the Voracious Hydra. Keep. All right. I want to see how, uh, like, if we can get a Vivian, I feel like our, if we could stick a Vivian, our matchup does not feel awful. It feels very, like, winnable, actually. We just got to stick Vivian. Would have loved to have a goose there to go into a turn two Vivian to ensure that it doesn't, I don't know, get like countered by uh, something like a mystical dispute. Do you think they have negate? That's the million dollar question. If they have negate, that's a problem. Quench is a problem. But this gets around, ah, put it on top, yeah. Like it's only Aether Gust, right? And Aether Gust cuts them off of the ramp game plan. So now they can actually just cast. I'm gonna bluff that we have something here. All right, sure. 
If we draw a land here, that means that we can actually play Vivian. That's pretty good. Like, and not worry about Mystical Dispute. It has to be hard counter magic for the opponent. And now we're back on the same game plan of, uh... Tear it down. Tear it all down. Beat him down with this, I guess. Pass to them. Hopefully they don't have little Uzi. Alright. Not bad. Let's see if they have anything to say about this. Sure. You got it. See if they have something. I don't know if I can play Bio Essence Hydra. Because there's a strong chance that, uh... Oh, I can do it now, actually. Oh, they... Darn it. Alright, cool. And so now we've got two massive Hydras. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, that's so sick. <laughs> oh, boy. That's super sick. That's super sick, dude. Oh. Well, hopefully they have, like, enough... Do you think they have enough burn? All things begin and end. All right, let's try this. Make them make counter this or something so I know that they don't have a ton of mana open. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do we get there with the flash bio essence Hydra? Come on. <laughs> the casual flick of the wrist. Just drop a bio essence Hydra. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we got there. Nice. The deck went overall three and two. Uh, we did we did get lucky on a few of our matchups and and we did lose to just not having enough interaction in some uh, like the Grohl matchup was a beating and a half we actually were able to beat the Esper control deck which I was kind of surprised by because that has Teferi which blanks our Vivians and on top of that we just play one big creature at a time so we got pretty lucky we were able to like sneak past that the deck was a blast to play though um, just as you, as you saw there just the bio essence Hydra at instant speed is so sick, especially with Gargos making it only cost two mana. I absolutely loved it. I also noticed how, like after as we were filming that we got we have only fourteen cards in the sideboard, so you can choose whatever it is you want in the, the sideboard. I, w I would actually go up to more Thrashing Brontodons for flash decks because Simic Flash is going to be popular uh, now, and then and you know maybe control decks too. So it, it's nice to have something that is uncounterable. So like maybe like two to like three thrashing brontodons in the sideboard you can probably cut down on i don't know maybe like a return to nature or something because we have an extra spot here because i'd rather just have brontodon over return to nature so we can cut a return to nature and play two thrashing brontodons so uh as and i also had mentioned that because we don't have that much interaction but we oddly have a ton of ramp we do want some kind of big payoff so i think naturally we uh, like somewhere in the main deck should be a few copies of like mass manipulation uh, I'll probably post an updated deck list to uh, attach to the stub, the article stub that is attached to this video. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Fish 5.0. As always, I really do appreciate you all coming back every time and enjoying the content here. And as always, make sure to leave a, like, you know, just let me know in the comments or come by, hang out on my Twitch chat. Let me know if you, there's any decks you like getting, well, you'd like to see get made into a video. Uh, or, of course, you can always email me. And uh, thank you so much for watching all the content that we make here at MTG Goldfish. If you want to continue to support, leave a like and a sub. And hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, it is your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out. I'll see you at the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.